In recent weeks, I've posted one of the most positive videos that I've done in 2019, at least in iron reviews, that is. It was the MP20 ATMB. I only got to hit seven iron that day, and the one question it got me asking is how good is this gonna be in the longer irons, and how easy is it gonna be uh, to hit those irons? I'm gonna answer that question today because I've got three iron in hand. I'm gonna see how it fares in the hands of the average golfer. Right, I'm down here at Four Golf Chester. It is an absolute miserable day in the UK. It's pouring down out there. Um, I've come up with a bit of an innovative way of keeping the camera dry. So uh, let's hope them waterproofs are working. Anyway, what are we here for? A few weeks back, I reviewed the MP20 HMB. Only hit the seven iron, but it was a bit of a jaw dropping moment. I love this club. I thought the performance was fantastic. I couldn't really do much wrong with it. So. Last night I was doing a bit of a test here and someone mentioned to me, I'd not seen it, have I tried the three iron HMB MP20 that was sitting in the bay and I hadn't. I tried it last night and as Brian Treadwell said to me, it is an absolute beaut of a golf club. But I'm going to tell you why. We're going to put it to the test right now. I'm going to record some numbers. First thing I want to mention though is this, looks and appearance. So when I grabbed this club from the rack yesterday, uh, I was surprised at how small and compact it looked. Because the thing is with the HMB set, it was a progressive set in terms of from the lower, uh, the wedge, the top line would have been thinner. And when it got to the three iron, I was expecting a fairly a bulky uh, top line, bulky profile, all in all. And I've got to say, it's not that at all. It's very much like a small and traditional like looking blade club and doesn't follow on in terms of size from the uh, seven iron. And the biggest surprise is this, when I put them together, and trust me, this is, I'll, I'll take a photo of this so you can see for yourself. The seven iron top line is wider, thicker, whatever you want to call it, than the three iron. I don't get that bit at all. I'm confused. Mizuno, you've confused me. I don't understand that at all. But anyway, that's just a visual thing. But I think it's important because I think for a lot of golfers, uh, this club sat at address is gonna be slightly off-putting. Um, you're going to need to be a confident ball striker. It's by no means the sort of driving iron that you'd see from maybe Strix and the uh, ZU85 where it's got some uh, meat around the back end that perhaps breeds a bit of confidence. This is fairly small in its profile. Um, but for me on a personal level, it's right up my street. I always say this, I might not have the ability to hit these irons, but I love a long iron off the tee. Question is, how does it perform? So I think, shut up hand and let's hit some golf balls. Now I said, I have hit this off camera. I hit some last night and I've had a bit of a warmth this morning. That's what we call a golf shot. What start to the day? Well, start to the video at least. That's probably the best shot of it all morning. Um, and the point is this, um, and I referenced Brian Treadwell, who's part of Team Average. He's tried this also. It's a strange old golf club because it's a small and compact three iron. Visually, what you'd expect and what resonates in the brain is that that's gonna be a tough club to hit. It's gonna be a tough club to get launching. It's gonna to be tough to find the sweet spot. They're all the things that register straight away in my brain at least when I look at that type of club. And it couldn't be any further from the truth. The launch is fantastic. It gets the ball up so easy. I'm hitting off the mat, not off a tee for all this data I get. This is coming straight off of the, off, uh, off of the mat. Um, I'm getting ball speeds across the face. It's just, again, defies um, what it looks like it should perform, if that makes any sense. I don't know if you can hear the strike, but they're absolutely flying out there. Like I said, I, I, try and, I tried to do the last few videos where I was giving you an immediate reaction, so a sort of first time hit, and I'd be lying if I said this, that was the case here. I have hit this off camera, and I've recorded a bit of data already, which we'll go through uh, very, very soon. 
But the big surprise, like I said, I'm, I'm letting no secrets out the bag before we look at numbers, is just how the ability to launch this ball is incredible. Um, and the sweet spot, like I said, uh, a stupid statement I know, but I'm struggling to hit a bad shot at the minute with it. I'm sure there's one in there, and I'm sure that, uh, you know, that's a bit of a false. There's another one. I do wish we could get the camera. I can't film from the back of us, and I don't have any software that gives us the visual out there into the driving range, uh, I'm afraid. But I wish you could see these balls, because trust me, um, we'll see it in form of data. Comments down below, uh, what I'd like to know is how many of you would consider putting going up to a three iron in the bag? So how many clubs are Mizuno actually going to sell? How many, how many clubs are they going to go sort of pitching wedge to five iron and then it's four iron and five iron, uh, four iron, three iron and so forth is down into hybrid? That's the thing I don't know. I don't know whether I'm on my own. I know, um, like I said, I like a long iron. Um, the other thing I will say, and uh, I'll attempt to it while on camera, is that, uh, again, I like to shape the ball. I very much find it very comfortable to hit a right to left and left to right shot on this. It's very, very playable iron for those who like to do that as well. Um, but I think there's not a great deal more to be said. I think for me, the club that I would just reference to it as well is the Callaway um, X4's UT iron, I think they called it. For me, the one thing I've not mentioned is feel. And it's got unbelievably good feel. Again, what we found in the HMB7 iron. And it likens very much similar to me to that of the Callaway. Uh, it just seems to have, uh, in terms of the numbers I'm getting and the performance that I'm seeing, just a little bit more meat in it. Let's see if we can hit a, a bit of a fade to finish. I'll tell you what, it is absolutely, I can't do no wrong with this golf club. I love it. Maybe when uh, Jimmy's not looking, I might just slip this one in the golf bag, I think, because it is that good. But anyway, let's see what the numbers say. Right, so plenty of balls hit, and to be honest with you, I, uh, I hit a few more than normal in terms of the testing. I was enjoying it that much. Uh, but let's get, to, as ever, stuck straight into these numbers and just have a look what we've been doing. Um, I'm reading these out because I haven't took a great deal to, uh, to absorb the info. Um, ball speed just touching 130 off an 85 average club speed. Uh, spinning, spinning quite high actually, 3.7 spin, uh, but I think that could be a positive depending on how you want to sort of use this club. Um, average carry a 195 and some fairly consistent numbers there. We've got one at the bottom end, two at the bottom end at 190 and top end at 200. Uh, launching 11.1, it's a bit that surprised me really because uh, of peak height 67. Um, a bit of a surprise with the launch because it seemed to be visibly launching um, quite a bit higher than that to be quite honest with you. But um, I think those numbers uh, are exactly, I mean 195 with that kind of spin number, you're looking at a club that's going to finish around 220, something like that, uh, 215, 220. And I think for me, if I was choosing to play this club, uh, I ain't going to be playing it much into greens. Uh, a three iron with uh, an 11 degree ball flight is going to be something I'm going to choose to play from the tee. Um, long par fives, maybe second shot, that kind of thing. Um, but I think it's a club that will not suit everybody in terms of won't fit in a, a gap in the bag. Because I think that's what you've got to be looking for. Uh, for me, on the course I like to play and where I play. And so on our links course, the opportunity to play that off the tee and get that one chasing down the fairway in the height of summer is uh, absolutely perfect. But like I said, not going to be suited in all sort of conditions. Um, but overall, just a really, really nice golf club to hit. And I've not, I've played now seven iron and three iron of the HMB. I've not hit anything in between, but I can imagine that, uh, like I said, judging by where we've just been from seven to three, I just think it's a fantastic uh, makeup of clubs. And I think that Again, going back to this thing with MP20 range in full is that uh, the ability to blend the set in um, in the shorter irons, maybe the MP20 blades up to these HMBs in the longer irons, I think is a fantastic opportunity. They've got a brilliant, brilliant um, set of product in this MP20 range and uh, the three, three iron doesn't disappoint one bit. Straightforward, no more to say. As ever, thank you for watching. Um, some comments down below, like I said, would you use the three, four iron in these clubs or is it a case of do you switch over to hybrids? Um, and as ever, I'll see you very, very soon.